Now something that comes up as soon as we start to try doing any strengthening with people who are excessively hypermobile is finding a comfortable position even in lying. Now any of you who have been taught to do core stability exercises will probably be able to identify with this. And so I wanted to show you a couple of hypermobility hacks that you can use to get more comfortable when lying down to attempt any subtle core stability exercises or even just to relieve pain. Sometimes when you're so tired and even lying down doesn't feel comfortable, it's very frustrating. But these little tips should help you find some relaxation in order to let blood flow back into those muscles that have been working so hard to keep you up during the day. So what I do is a lot of what I call towel origami. And by folding towels in certain ways, we can actually give you a lot more stability, which provides you the, the feeling of support that you need to actually let go of all of those big muscles that are trying to control everything and giving you so much pain. So for the head, often if you're really mobile through your neck, lying down on the ground actually takes a lot of strain through these neck muscles. And a lot of people find this when they're trying to go to sleep as well. So what I do is I take a bath towel, just fold it in half, I fold it in half again, and then fold in the ends. So we're going to fold them in three times, and this one in three times. And this will actually make a little kind of hollow for my head when I lie down. So we've got that out there. Now for the low back, there's a couple of different ways of doing this. If you're very unstable in your low back and the back wants to flatten down onto the floor, then I just take a little hand towel, fold it in half and then into thirds. And I find that this is wonderful for placing along this area of your low back to help support it in neutral until you have the strength to do that yourself. Some people just need this. However, some people find that when they lay on their back, they get a lot of pressure through the sacrum. But with the same little fold to towel, I fold it into thirds. Then I fold it into a little bit of a triangle. And I place this so that the sacrum can sit in its own little cushion. And this can be really helpful for people who feel a lot of discomfort when lying down on their back. So for me, I prefer and thirds, this way. And then if I'm setting somebody up to do their core exercises and they're unstable through the hips and pelvis, I'll often use a chair in the beginning, like so. And I shuffle in, place my calves on the chair, little low towel under the low back, and then the head nestled nicely in the hollow. And that actually feels delicious and relaxing. Um, today, so especially if you're feeling a little bit tired or you're not quite got the stability to even lay in line, this position will take all of the load out of the hips, all of the load out of the low back, and your hip will feel nice and cocooned so that you can actually relax. You can also do this with a heat pack underneath your back, and it's a wonderful way for actually letting go of any excessive tension before we start doing any stabilizing exercises. Then you may have pelvic floor exercises, exercises for your deep inner thighs. We have a tux and tilt series that we can do in this position, but your body feels supported so that you can focus on just using those tiny, tiny deep stabilizing muscles rather than having everything switched on to even start the exercise.